bass backwards by Kurt Vile is going to be plated in standard tuning and does not need a capo. The vast majority of the song is just a D chord and a C chord that bounce back and forth with a very simple picking rhythm that is just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up that happens throughout the entire song. And you can see Kurt Vile doing it basically just with his first finger is all he's doing, just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up between the D chord and the C chord. So let me show you how to make these two chords. Kurt Vile is making it with his pinky finger on the second string third fret and his second finger on the third string second fret, leaving the first string open. You'll have an open four string, and occasionally if you hit the open five string, that'll be okay as well, but you do not want to hit the open six string. So in the D chord, the thing that makes it sound like this song is lifting up your second finger and hitting the open third string and then hammering down into that D position on the uh, third string second fret with your second finger. So you can hear that hammer on. And then moving to the C chord, you're gonna move with your ring finger to the fifth string third fret, and you're gonna do the same hammer on with your second finger, but now it's happening on the fourth string second fret. As in. So you're in the C position, but now the hammer on is happening on the fourth string second fret, still with your second finger and it just alternates for the verses between those two chords, D to the C. Occasionally inside the D, uh, Kurt Vile playing this live, you can see him go from this D chord and he just slides the shape up two frets and sometimes we'll hit that while in the D chord like and then going into the C chord. So I slow that up two frets so that my ring, uh, so that my second finger is now on the third string fourth fret, and my pinky finger is now on the second string fifth fret. And sometimes he even brings it up another four frets to right there. Now my second finger is on the third string seventh fret, and my pinky finger is on the second string eighth fret. big change in this song is so the way that you do this you're moving basically to an A chord you're going to put your second finger now on the fourth string second fret you'll hit the open five string so start by plucking with your thumb the open five string and then with your second finger where it's at right here you're going to hammer on with your ring finger to the third string second fret so hit the open third string and hammer on with your ring finger to third string second fret. And then behind that you immediately hit the open second string. And then come back to the fretted third string. And then you're going to go... The way that you're doing that is with your pinky finger. While your second and ring are still in this A position, you're putting your pinky finger down on the first string third fret. Pluck that then drop it one fret to the first string second fret pluck that open up the first string play it open and then you're going to play the still open second string and that comes together like and then you're going to go to the c chord so ring finger on the fifth string third fret hammer on with your second finger to the fourth string second fret hit the open third string and then you hear it go the way that you do that is you want to bring your second finger up to the fourth string fourth fret you'll hit the open third string and then the fretted fourth string and then back to the open third string and you get before repeating back to the A back into the D chord. Another embellishment that happens um, is so the way that you're going to do that is you're going to take your C shape 
and just pull it up two frets. So now I've got my second finger on the fifth string, fifth fret. Pluck that, and then you're gonna use your first finger to hammer on to the fourth string, fourth fret. So I'm plucking the fifth string, I'm plucking the open third, uh, the open fourth string, and then I'm hammering on with my first finger to the fourth string, fourth fret. And then alternate between the open third string and the fretted fourth string. And then you're going to go with your ring finger, ring finger to the uh, third string fifth fret, and then first finger to the third string fourth fret. And then you come back down to the C. So hit the third string, uh, hit the fifth string third fret, hammer on fourth string second fret, and then hit the open third string, and then that repeats. And then sometimes in this chord, it changes the rhythm a little bit and goes. that you're doing that is the same hammer on into the eventually the open third string and then you're going to go second finger to the uh, second not second finger third finger to the third string fifth fret first finger to the third string fourth fret open third string then open fourth string and then into the C and then the quick alternate again of open third string and fourth string, fourth fret, open third string. And that's coming together sounding like. Before returning back to home base of D and C. Those are the chords to Bass Ackwards by Kurt Pyle. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.